Good afternoon, everybody. The big day has came, huh? Actually, has come. The big day, the big day. I'm going to uh, let everybody uh, join us, and uh, I am going to talk uh, about, you know, um, basically exposing the truth, and we're going to get down to details and stuff like that. So, uh, it's going to probably take me a little bit. So I hope you guys don't get bored. But uh, this is something I think that if um, it wasn't planned well, I would have never, ever uncovered it. And basically everybody would have never known. So let's give it a couple minutes. Well, let's give it a, let's give it a minute and let everybody join us. And I really do thank everybody um, since I started the project and that's been supporting me, that's been, you know, just supporting me throughout this. You know, I appreciate every single one of you guys that's been there for me. I appreciate Bridget. I appreciate Lynn. I appreciate Anita also, and I hope you're doing better. And many other people that have, uh, you know, basically, oh, and one, one other person I almost forgot. Victoria Chelsea also. I really appreciate every single one of you guys that helped me out a lot throughout this whole, this whole thing. And if I miss one of you guys, I'm sorry. You know, I forget things. So I am not a professional. I'm not in a, um, you know, in, 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 in any kind of um, um, studio. I'm doing it, you know, at this place, at this house. Um, I'm going to try to be as how should I say this? I'm going to try to explain it to you guys as best as possible to my knowledge. If I do cuss, please, um, you know, I'm sorry because sometimes my emotions get carried away. But I'm going to try my best. I am not a professional. As you guys seen on the Natalie Holloway, um, uh, the project, the, the documentary, I'm not a professional. I'm not. But, uh, you know, um, I'm going to try to do my best here. My best. So now, um, are you guys ready? Let me just hey, say hi to everybody. Where's everybody from? And I don't think after this I'll be going live, honestly, because this will be basically the end, unless people want me to, to still talk about other things that, you know, are really, really important about the project. And a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, you're making this up, or this and this and that. No, no, I really, I have evidence that this evidence, you guys are going to be blown away. I know some of you guys said we found Natalie's bones or this and that. Just wait. You know, wait and see what I have to say. And I'm going to also clarify a lot of things that are, um, they did, they did not say. And a lot of, and you know, a lot of other things. A lot of other things. So, uh, we got, we got Rochelle, we got Melissa. Um, Misty, we got, I missed a lot of people in the back. I'm not going to go down. Now, another thing I'm going to explain to you guys while I'm saying this, I don't want to get, you know, distracted. I, I'm not going to go ahead and, um, read any comments whatsoever until I'm done, until I'm done. So, uh, I would, you know, try to, uh, to do the best to my knowledge. Again, I am not a professional. I'm not a professional. I'm just, you know, trying to do the right thing, you know, trying to do the right thing because what I think what they did, it's not right, you know, and this will take a lot of credibility in Hollywood, basically, you know, a lot of people get away with it. I ain't going to let them get away with it. My whole thing when I started was to get the truth out, to find Natalie and, you know, bring her home and stuff like that. Hey, well, oh, hell, I tried. I tried and I really, really tried. But, you know, as you guys know, I'm not going to say it a hundred times how they treated me. This is that. This is not about me. This is going to be about exposing the truth, exposing what they hid, what they, what, 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 they, uh, what they were hiding. I don't know why I'm nervous. I mean, I'm never nervous. And tonight, I don't know why. I just don't know why. Okay. So... 
you know, there, and a friend of mine told me today, you know, there's a lot of people out there that try to be in the big picture and, you know, they do a lot of crazy things, especially women, and they make them do things that, you know, that are not normal and they take advantage of them. You know, I, I could see it. I could see it. You know, I could see it. And they lie to you. They, oh my God, they will lie to you. Oh, I'm going to take care of you. Oh, don't you worry. I'm not saying they said that to me, you know. Because, again, I didn't have a contract with them, you know, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, so let's, 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 uh, let's get started on this. Okay. So, as you guys know, as you guys know, um, the whole project on the Nightly Holloway case, uh, I, I, I'll get, I'll get back to, 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 I guess, um, letting you guys know more about Natalie. Let's, let's, let's talk about the car up, how it happened, how it all went down. So, um, you guys remember, um, damn, you know, I'm sorry guys, give me a second. I, I just, you know, I'm getting a little nervous. I don't know why I have never, ever been nervous ever, you know, and, 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 you know, I just, I'm just, trying to put it all in my head I, I even wrote it down i swear to god i got my little pad and then i wrote it down make sure i don't screw up blah 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 but again i'm not a professional so let's go back um that day that we 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 found the bones me and that idiot john so um i remember telling him that day look john one day before if i go down to aruba and i really didn't have the money i borrowed the money um, if I go down there and you lie to me, I'm going to break every single bone in your body. He goes, no, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. So we go and we find the, we find the remains the, 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 in the bag. And uh, I give them to Chief Richardson. Chief Richardson uh, kept them for two months and a half. Then gives them to Dave Holloway. Then Dave gives them to TJ. TJ brings them over, does not claim them whatsoever. And next thing you know, you know, they do the, uh, they do the uh, test. And it's not that they made it seem that way, but it just kind of worked out that way, you know. They had to wait time to, for the test. So they do the fir first test, and it comes out inconclusive. And we're all like, what the hell's going on here? I felt like the, something like something wasn't right. And at that time, um, I thought it was May, but it was, it was, I think it was June or July. TJ Ward goes to, uh, goes to, uh, Aruba for what? What reason did TJ go by himself? We don't know. And then another thing that, um, when you guys watch the documentary, there was that part when Jason Kowalski was in Aruba. I think it was, the third or the fourth episode i didn't know see i was just in a hotel and whenever they told me hey we need you to go and show us here that's when i went that's it that's it i didn't go back and and you guys had to tell me what to do no this was you know what's what happened they should have put all the the scenes where i was snapping on them especially tj ward i didn't want them around they should have put you guys they should have put those scenes but they didn't so anyway so you know, to me in my head is why is he doing, why was he there? Why did TJ Ward go back to Aruba? It just stuck in my head. So, um, so, you know, they say the bones were, were uh, inconclusive. Okay. And I said to myself, why in the hell will they mix the bones? It doesn't make sense. And then they paid again? It was a big old question mark in my head. And um, so then, you know, we wait a little more until, until they finished the series. I think they say that, they said that in August, if I'm not in, you guys correct me. Um, and then they, they, uh, they, you know, they kept going with the series. And then at the end, they said that the bone was, one, one bone was human. Well, guys... 
they lied. They lied big time, and I'm going to explain why, and then I'm going to show you the proof. And we're going to put two or two together. I forgot my computer, but I need my computer, but I'll, I'll get it in a, in a second. Okay, so for one, for one, um, let's go, what, how, how I discovered this, okay, how I discovered this. So about 32 days ago, um, that piece of crap, John Lewood, calls me up and says, hey, I need a ride and blah, 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 blah. He only called me for a ride. He, he always, money or a ride, one of the two. And I was getting sick and tired of it because I said, man, you know, I'm broke. I don't have no money. I can't do this no more for this guy. You know, I can't be lending him money. I can't be taking, giving, spending gas and waste my time on him. No. So I said, no, I'm not going to do that. And he gets all mad and blah, 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 blah. I got something that you could go ahead and make a lot of money and sell it to, to, to some, and we can make money. And I have, I have the recordings. I recorded him. He, he was that stupid. He goes, Oh, I, I don't want to be in your car uh, because I don't trust you. You got, you got videos in your car everywhere. I have one right here. I have a camera right here. The way I have my shirt, I, I put it on right here and I recorded it. So I, 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 something in me says, all right, go. So I go, I go to John and then I told John, okay, tell me what the hell's going on. He goes, well, first tell, take me. I said, no, 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 no. He goes, well, take me, take me. Give me the right. I said, sure. And we were talking. And then he admits right there that he lied. I said, what are you what are you talking about? He goes, look, I lied all the way up to the bones. But from their back, you know the truth. I don't have no more. I don't have nothing else. So I needed money. So I lied to you. I go, what do you mean you lied to me? He goes, I fabricated. You. What do you mean you fabricated? He goes, I fabricated how the, the bones got there. I, I, I just wanted to slap the shit out of him right there and then. I, I just couldn't believe it. So I was just like, okay, well, okay, well, tell me then. And he goes, oh, yeah, I need to go get a Red Bull. I grab him by his damn shirt. And I said, look, look, son of a bitch, you better tell me right now. Tell me right now. Well, if you let me go, I will. So, he tells me, since I needed money, I had Lauren and I had Emily. I needed money and uh, her mom kicked her out of the house and blah, blah, blah with her child. Then I went ahead and came up with the story. I said, John, you're not making any goddamn sense. Tell me what, you're, what you want to tell me. He goes, well... What I did is, um, there is, there was a boar in back of my dad's house. I said, what do you mean a boar? He goes, a wild boar. We got him here in Florida everywhere. He goes, somebody hit the boar. And, uh, let's see. Where the hell is that paper at? Oh, great. I won't touch it. He goes, we have a, we, we, my dad killed a wild, somebody killed a wild boar. And my dad went and cut the head off because the uh, animals were eating it on the side of the road. And he put it in a pile of fire ants. And this is all recorded. I'm not making none of this up. This is all recorded. And um, they ate all the, the meat off of it. And uh, he left it there. And John writes this. This is from John's handwriting. Hope you guys can see this. This boar was killed in 2003. In 2003. So, here's the evidence. I might as well bring it out to you guys. Let's get one out. Nasty. Two out. Okay. Damn it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to switch back. All right, guys. This is the wild boar. Okay. Now, I want to, here's where the pieces of bones came from. 
right here. See this? See these pieces missing? And this right here? This is where the bones came from. Damn it, I need to change switch. This is where the bones came from. I'm not making this up. If we did this thing on the computer where we matched all the bones and they fit perfectly. The color, again, look. Look, the color, it's like moldy green, you know? It's a little green, it's a, it's a little like, you know, moldy green. So if you, if you guys, if you guys check, go back. I'm gonna grab the computer right now and prove it to you guys. Hold on, give me a second. Sorry, I uh, I hope you guys don't get bored. It's a lot to talk about. I'm going to show you guys right now one of the uh, pictures, and we're going to do a close up. Okay. Okay. Here is one of the bones that Jason Kowalski. Okay, Jason Kowalski. Now I'm going to blow this bone up. I want you guys just to look. See this? See the green and the color? It's the same as this. The same. There's no difference. Now, is it the same bones? Yes, there is. They are. I'm going to show you guys. I think it's this one. Here is what I took. Look. Yeah, they got them turned around, but they're in the bag. The same ones. Look at the green. The same. So, I, I, I don't understand this. I just, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so let's go back how all this... All this got uh, scammed. I got scammed and a lot of other people got scammed. And we're going to talk about this. So now you know where... I better put this away before mom, uh, with mom comes. I'm not touching this crap. If you guys want to believe it, I got the proof. I did the blow up. Um, you know... The DNA, I don't have the money to do the DNA from here. This DNA and the DNA, I have I have a copy of the DNA, of the original DNA. But I don't have the money to do the DNA in this. And I guarantee it's going to match. My other friend is like, oh my God, this is, why? Why would they do something like this? This is crazy. But anyways, let's go back to John. So, John says, I said, how in the hell? Did you do this? He goes, I grabbed pliers and I broke the bones. I said, okay, so how did you do this? He goes, I went ahead and on my shorts, I went ahead and on that, you know, the string you pull, I made a cut and I put the bone, the bag of bones in there because I knew you were going to check me. And, um, but how, I said, John, how did you get them to the airport? He goes, I went ahead and I put them on my razor, uh, electric razor. I put everything in there. Because they were so small. And that's how he got them through. Because I remember when we went to the hotel, I he goes, I need to go to the bathroom. So, okay, fine. He comes out. I strip searched. I mean, I made him take all his clothes down, off. Nothing. No, he didn't have nothing on him. To, just for me to, to make sure. Because he gave me his passport. So we go and we get a shovel. Then we go in back of his aunt's house. And I remember, he's gonna, and he says this on, on, on the video. When you got caught up, I was trying to figure a way, how in the hell am I gonna put this bag in there? When you got caught up with all those vines for a split second, 
He goes, and you see me put the shovel in there because I took it off my pants and I was holding it. So when I put the shovel in there and I pulled it, you got cut off the vines. You just, for one split second, I put my back to you, as you see on the, on the, on the thing. He goes, I, I dropped it. And then I, and that's when you say, oh, don't touch it, blah, blah, blah. He goes, honestly, I thought you seen it. I never, I never caught his ass on that. So that's, that's how John planted. Now, does John, that, is this idiot know what he just did? You know how, how, how many charges he could get for doing this, for taking it, you know, uh, and not, whatever, uh, I forgot the, the, all these charges that he, he's going to be able to get because of this, because of all these lies, because what he went, he took through the airport, he planted. Now, Aruba was right. I thought it was wrong. On the bones being animal. Oh, I was sure they were. It was human. I was damn sure it was human. And I remember on that scene that uh, on that scene that um, Chief Richardson was just they were just kind of laughing at, at TJ and Dave and saying, "No, this is animal bones." I am no expert. I really thought they were human bones. You know? I asked a professional and he told me pig bone and human bone are similar. Not not just, you know, the 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 making of the bone, I will say. So what happened here? Okay, John lied. He said he he made this up. Just the part of the bone. And I have on video say, oh, you know, they, they, we could go ahead and get so much money for that. I said, what do you mean we? Well, I could make so much money because uh, they lied. I said, what about you, you piece of shit? What about you? What about you? And I was so mad. I dropped this. I just, drunk, just dropped his ass. I said, you know what? Don't ever call me again, you piece of shit. Guess that's all you are. You're a piece of shit. He goes, oh, do you lie about other things? That's the only thing I made up. I said, well, what the hell's wrong with you? And I haven't talked to him at all. He has, he has uh, said, you know, called me different numbers, you name it. Talking all this crap. Because I won't talk to him no more. So, now. So this, now we go back where Oxygen did the first test. Now, when they did this first test, that's when they knew that these bones were fake. Were fake I mean, were animal bones. That's when they found out that these bones were not human. Why in the hell didn't they just say it? Why? They got too money. They had too much money. Remember, they paid Brian Media already. Oxygen was not going to take a fall, so they said, hell, we're going to make the best of it, of this, because they thought this was, you know, it was a done deal. There's no more bones. That's what they thought. No more bones. Let's just lie. You know, if John got some fake bones or whatever, then, you know, let's just lie and make money off of this. Because the documentary did so, so good on ratings and numbers, they made a lot of money. Now, who lied here? Who lied here? I, for me exposing this, I don't make no money off of this. I don't, I'm not making any capital gain whatsoever. I never have and never did. And all these people saying, ah, oh, you got paid. Screw you. I always speak the truth. And I, this really, really made me very, very angry. That they lied to the American public. Why in the hell didn't they say this? Now they wait until the documentary is almost over. Well, basically it was over. And then they say the human was, the bone, one of the bones was human. How in the hell you get this if I have the proof here? You match those bones and you put them here and they match exactly. My, my friend helped me with the computer and they, they, you know, grabbed the bones and match perfect. Perfect match. Perfect color. Perfect everything. He goes, just the only thing you need is get the DNA. I go, I have, a, I have the copy of the original DNA. Both they did. I have that. 
and you do your own, and you're going to see that all the bones match except the one that they said is human, which is not human. So now, did TJ know this? I'm not saying he did. Somebody had to know. TJ got paid really good damn money to do this. Very goddamn good money. And he wanted his name and fame and this and that. Because all this time he wanted to put me in jail. That was his priority on the whole on the whole uh, uh, Natalie documentary. It's basically not about Natalie. It's, it's put jail, Gabriel in jail. So they used an FBI lab. Okay, they used an FBI lab. This lab is on lockdown. Not anybody just could walk in there and grab a sample and mess with it. Not anybody just could do that. So this falls back on Jason Kowalski. What ha this guy has never done nothing to me. I'm not trying to talk bad about him or nothing, but what happened here? Who's going to give us answers? Why did did Brian Media know about this? How did this happen? Why are they saying the bone is human when the bone is a is a, is it's a is an animal bone? I want answers. Don't you guys want answers? Why they lied? Why did Jason Kowalski lie about this? He's a professional. He has a degree. He worked in 9-11. He did all this. Why? Is it money? Did somebody get paid off? Not to say nothing? Did TJ get paid off not to say nothing? As far as I know, he's, he's broke right now. He's having a hell of a time. But it's not in my business. But who, who, I mean, who who lied? And they told me this. Well, they're, 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 they're trying to say that as long as a lot of people don't pay attention, take you as a joke, they'll make their money. Nobody's going to care, whatever. Well, this, this is not a joke. This is the real thing. I have the confessions. You know? If people want to believe me, fine. If they don't want to believe me, I don't have nothing to lose. I really don't. You know, I I started this to, to, to say the truth. All this time about the truth. I put years in this, a lot of money in this, dedication. For at the end, somebody frames a damn lie and they follow through with that lie instead of exposing it. Well, they, they're not going to expose it because they're going to lose hell of a lot of money. They're going to lose a lot of money. Bride Media and Oxygen lied. Who did they pay off? TJ? Jason Kowalski? Now, does Dave Holloway know anything about this? You think I wanted to tell him? I'm sorry. But I cannot tell Dave Holloway because whatever I tell him, he runs and tells TJ Ward. He did it to me once and I told him. I said, Dave, you gave me your man a word that you won't do this. But God knows what TJ has washed his brain. I don't know. But they lied. I don't have the money to do the DNA test. And I guarantee you it's going to come out positive. Because the bones don't lie. The pictures don't lie. The, the, the similarities, you know, it's, it's a match. A match with, too bad we don't have the bone. But in, in those bones, they're going to know there was a fungus. And that fungus only grows here in Florida. Also. Because they do that too. That fungus only grows here in Florida because there's a lot of humidity. I forgot what he said, this guy said. So, you know, there's another, you know, you got to put everything together. So, you know, it's, 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 just, it's, it's sickening. And now I'm going to tell you guys another thing. Okay, so the bone, okay, it was human, okay? So now let me just, let me just say this. So if the bone was human, and then they said, could, you know, they said something about it, could it be Robert Gardner, blah, 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 blah. You don't think that if the bones were real, if that bone was real, you don't think that Jason Kowalski would have jumped on it and say, I'll pay for the DNA. I would like to get this and say, I did it. Now, would Brian Media, you don't think, or, or, or um, Oxygen would have said, oh, my God, 
It might be Robert Gardner. Well, here, well, let's pay for the testing. Did they? No, they have not. Why? Because they know it's a lie. They know they lied. They called. And I'm not making this up. You guys could ask Robin Gardner's sister. She did a swab and everything. And it's still, it's still to date, nobody has done nothing about it. Nothing. Why? Because that bone is a pig bone. It is not human. How he did this, I don't know. And it'll be a crime shame if they paid him. What are they going to say? Oh, we made a mistake? You know? If somebody's interested, they want the bone, they want to test the bone, and, and to see that it matches, hey, you're welcome. That's all I can say. I'm not benefiting, like again, I'm not benefiting from this at all. I'm just saying the truth. And this is the truth. Now, we cleared this out of the way. Just to let you guys know that don't believe everything in Hollywood. You know, if if you're going to do something, that's what Greta, Greta did not believe this from the beginning. Natalie's mom didn't want no part because TJ was involved. Did she have a feeling about this? You know, did she have a vibe? Did Greta, Greta, she called it out. She see right through everything. Hell, I got fooled, but I got the evidence to protect me on the videos that this piece of shit lied to me and used me. And then uh, instead of Brian Media and Oxygen actually saying the truth, they went ahead and made a lot of money and basically conned the American public. Making them believe something that was not there. Because if, if the bone was real and it and, and there was a chance it would, could have been um, Robin Gardner, hell, they would have, I would have jumped on it. Kavaska would have jumped on it. You know, um, uh, Bright Media or Oxygen. But since they knew for a fact that that bone was not human, they knew it. They didn't want nothing about it. They didn't want nothing to do about it. Uh, you know, uh, they didn't want nothing to do with that at all. Because they knew that the bone was not human. Why fake all this? Why? It just blew my mind. Now, let's put all this, the Natalie and all this stuff to rest. What you've seen in the documentary... Um, she was put under rocks. Um, she was, they didn't show all these scenes. I have the videos. I can't show them. But I don't care. They lied, so I don't care. They broke contract with me. I don't care. They did. Um, where they broke the bones, they didn't show that part. They got you guys confused. He never burned it. What he did is that... It was called um, El, El, El Chio, El something. Here, I got it right here in my nose. Um, let's see. I'm bad at writing notes because I can't even find it anymore. Uh, let's see. I have it here somewhere. Oh. Mm. Let's see. Shoot. Sorry, guys. I I just can't remember where I put the note. Well, the boat had a specific name. Um, John and Vanessa who used the boat. They went out. After they crushed her, they went out. They went out two miles at night. Supposedly shark fishing. The boat, the boat was driven by John. The boat belonged to John's uncle with some other guy that, that but it wasn't the other guy's name. I can't give you guys the name right now. Um... And uh, he used the boat. He took the boat out. 
and they spread chum, like, you know, because he said another boat would come by. And I have that recording, too. And he goes, we went ahead and just tossed all her bones out in the water, everything. So I said, uh, then why make all these damn lies? He goes, I needed money. I go, I don't even know if this is true. Or this could be a lie. He goes, believe what you want to believe, but this is the truth, and that was a lie. I made up the bones. I framed it. But this all, this other that happened was true. So um, then I said, okay, well, why in the hell did you come back in 2011? He goes, uh, I came back because I left evidence, and I came back to get rid of evidence in 2011, December 15. It, it, no, December 11th, I'm sorry. 2011, December 11th. He was there for five days and to get rid of evidence that if somebody found out, they would go ahead and he could get prosecuted somehow. So he tried to get rid of that evidence also by throwing it to the dumpster. So would Natalie Albert be found? No. This is done. This is what happened. Um, the only thing that I know was that one of his friends, well, one of the girls with John, said John, and I have that that um, text message between them two, Venice gave her a bracelet, and, and Venice kept the rest. Now, it's in a small box. Remember he's always saying, oh, there's a box, there's a box in the pet cemetery. It's somewhere around there. I kind of know where it is. But it's a small box, just a small box. And he goes, I kept um, all her, whatever, she, if she had earrings and bracelets and, and stuff like that, he put them in a little box. Vansu did. He goes, so when I get it, if, if something happened and I went to jail, when I get out, I could use always use this to get money. And it's there. And he goes, John goes, I said, so tell me exactly. Well, he kind of just told me where. He goes, I don't know exactly. That's where he showed me. And that's it. He goes, that is it. I go, so are you lying to me? Or he goes, well, you know, that's where it was, but maybe it's in his house. I said, why would he leave it in his house, you idiot? If the cops came, they're going to, he goes, maybe he buried it in his house. He goes, honestly, I don't know. He just said those two things. I go, maybe he lied to you. He goes, I don't know. So, but the jury, the jury that, supposedly gave and I, I've been trying to hunt down this girl it's been really hard and um, it, it said there that Van Dus who gave her that uh, two months after Natalie died this bracelet that he said oh this girl gave it to me and I'm going to give it to you so Van Dus told John and that girl that it was the girl goes is it Natalie's is it the girl who died he just smiled and that's all that for now I've been trying to get a hold of this girl. Maybe this girl got scared and threw it away. I don't know. But she knows. She does know. Because I have a text message. An AOL back in the day. So. Um, I put it out, all out there. If you guys think it's all a lie. Well. It's up to you. You guys. You guys be the judge of it. I gave you guys. I showed you guys the uh, boar head. Boar's head and his writing, and uh, you guys could go online, look at the pictures, put them together. That's it. That's all I got to say. Thanks, everybody, for everything. Thank you very much. Thank you for supporting me. Thanks for uh, Lynn, Bridget. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, Victoria, Chelsea, and many others, if I forget. Thanks, everybody, for supporting me. And you guys need to speak. You guys need to ask Oxygen and those other guys what the hell's going on. You guys need want to know the truth because they lie to their teeth just to make a damn buck. Because if they would have exposed it earlier when they knew it wasn't, they would have lost their asses. I'm talking about millions of dollars. So, TJ Ward, why did you lie? Jason Kowalski, why did you lie? Why? Simple as that. Why? I'm a nobody. You got credentials. I don't have anything. But evidence doesn't lie. Put two two together. It does not lie. How much money did you make? 
Does it make, did it make you feel good, TJ Ward? Did it make you feel good, Jason Kowalski? Did it make you feel good, uh, Brian Media, making all this money and oxygen? Did it make you guys feel so good, stiffing the American public? We know they made that stupid ass John Ludwig. Whatever he got off of me and them, we know it made him look good. You know what he did with that money. Again, thank you. Thank you very much for everything, guys. Thank you very much. It's up to you now. It's up to you guys to start asking questions. And I hope that somebody, Greta or somebody, picks this up and just, just puts it to them. That's all I got to say. Because this is not right. Look, I'm not a fan of Trump. You guys, some of, some of you are, some of you are not. I'm not a fan of Trump. But you know one thing I learned from Trump? One thing I learned from Trump is that he speaks that he when, when he wants to do something, he don't give a shit who's, who's, who says yes or no. He does what he wants to do. And all these people who are doing stuff they're not supposed to, he wants to step on them and get rid of them. Don't be scared. I don't have the money that Trump has. But you know what? I took his advice. I said, hell with all these people. Hell with them. Hell with them. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.